Hey guys, Cleet here. So the raid is just better come out. And with that, we do have some updated news from Blizzard on how they're going to do loose, whether it's in PvP or Mythic Plus. Uh, the PvP one is whatever, right? You're going to get like 550 Conquest. That's the cap. You can get essentially any of the off pieces, so like bracers, trinket, any of the small stuff. There's like a conduit in there, whatever, right? There's that. Uh, nobody really cares, I think, for the first week of what you can do in PvP. I mean, you could get an off piece if you really need to. Uh, or you can actually save it up for a piece that actually matters. Now, for Mythic Plus, this is where I think kind of the big change really came in. Is that in previous, I think, couple of like patches or whatever in, in the last expansion, it's been plus six was like the limit for the first week, right, of the raid being out in the first week of the season. This is now changed uh, to plus ten. So you can farm all the way until plus ten to get better end of dungeon rewards. Now, what plus ten means is that you're gonna have to do the seasonal affix which is prideful, which I actually think makes the dungeon easier. It's one of those buffs and seasonal affixes, uh, just like the previous one we had, where there's a negative component, is that every 20%, right, you're going to hit an add, and you're going to have to kill an add. And the add does, like, taking AoE damage. But once you kill the add, you get a pretty good damage buff, and it gives you movement speed, and it gives you mana regen. Um, and I actually think doing a dungeon in a plus 10 is probably faster than a plus 9, because the buff you get is actually pretty powerful once you kill the prideful app. But that aside, as far as for our gear, right, you're going to be getting 203 eye level gear if you can complete plus 10 eye level mythic plus, which is actually huge because, right, 203, that's better than normal, right? Normal, a normal boss, like the first eight bosses, is going to drop 200 eye level loot. Now, when you get to the last two bosses, they drop 207. So the last two bosses are still going to be better than normal, but. It's pretty crazy because you can essentially farm Mythic Plus and one, either be able to trade loot or just get better loot than the majority of the raid gear itself. So it gives you, I think, a little bit more things to do next week. You know, farming Mythic Plus isn't completely like as wasteful as it maybe was previously. But if you do want maximum rewards, like when you go to your vault next week, you still want to be doing plus 14s. Now, you don't have to like spam them. Like at the max, you're only doing 10 plus 14s. Or you can do four plus 14 or you can just do one plus 14 depending on like kind of what bracket you want to be in for the vault so so essentially like you don't have to do that many plus 14s but i think you should do at least one uh if you just want a better reward that's the goal i think by end of the week is to do plus 14s but as far as where farming is considered you want to farm plus 10s now if plus 10s is too difficult whether you guys don't have the damage the healing or you just can't find a group doing plus sevens is just fine doing plus sevens will get you 200 eye level loot and, you know, that's only three less eye levels than a plus 10 and much, much easier, much, much faster. It's possible that people might start off with plus 7s as they get geared up a little bit and then they can do a plus 10s uh, just to farm a little bit more after that. So with that being said, that means items from Mythic Plus next week are going to be pretty important, right? Obviously, you want to farm the two dungeons that have weapons, right? Because you want as big of weapons as you can get. So as far as for the two dungeons you should farm to get weapons... In Mist, right, there's a two-hander. I mean, there's a one-hander too, but there's a two-hander with high haste on it, right? That's one of the dungeons you want to farm. The other one you want to farm is Aquatic Wake, which, right, if you haven't had the Legendary yet, right, you can go and farm it. But once again, another two-hander with high haste and a little bit of burst. These are the two dungeons, right, Necrotic Wake and Mist, that you really want to do a lot just to make sure you get a better uh, eye-level weapon, right? If you can get a two or three eye-level weapon, great, right? You're, you're pumping. Obviously, if you can do hero rating, and get the weapon from the last boss, the Sir Denarthrius, that's even better. But at least for a start, you can get really good weapons. Now, that's obvious, right? The weapon stuff is obvious. Now, maybe what's not obvious is trinkets, right? So I've added to kind of my this guide from yesterday. I've added a new tab for all Shadowlands trinkets. Um, just simming the Mythic Plus trinkets, the Inscription trinket, the Dark Moonfire trinket, the two PvP trinkets. And then, you know, I put in the raid trinkets in there. Essentially, you guys can go in and click on each of these raid bots uh, and it'll kind of show you, right? So I did one for single target sim for five minutes, one for hectic adkly for one minute. Hectic adkly just means the ads spawn. I think it's like 40% of the time there's ads. Other time it's a single target. And then I also did a one minute, five targets. They never die. Just full on AOE for, for one minute, right? And you guys can kind of like scroll down here, see what the trinkets are, what the best trinkets are at this time now you're going to see some things that pop up like all the time like you're going to see inscrutable quantum device pop up all the time you're going to see the macabre sheet music pop up all the time right like so when you when you think about like trinkets that you want obviously there's 
trinkets that are really good in single target like the file putrefication at the same eye level right so this is only comparing all trinkets at 200 eye level the file putrefication is the absolute best single target trinket now it's not the best aoe trinket now the effect is horrible if the ad dies because you essentially need it to last 30 seconds right to get the full value out but if the ads actually survive for a while it's not as bad right it can kind of get up there in how high it sims and but stuff like stats especially haste has even better value like you can see all the trinkets that can proc haste in some way or even crit um but even this one specifically like there's so much haste going on right even this trinket that you just stand there you build anima field you get haste for aoe that's probably going to best bet single target there's all this stuff you guys can obviously take a look at this um i've also listed i think some priorities to get uh it's just based upon the results of those sims so for a single target you really want to be farming for the file purification you want to be farming for the quantum device and then of course when the raid comes out you want the sheet music spare hook if you can whatever i i'm actually questioned about this i don't know if this one is actually that great so i would i would tentatively put that there of course there's the dreadfire vessel that's from the last boss of the raid and then for aoe right you can see the macabre sheet music come in um the dark moon deck actually does okay mythic plus so if you guys are kind of on the fence about whether or not you want to be you know using dark moon deck or buying it you don't have to right you can see there's a lot of trinkets on my hair where you don't have to buy dark moon deck but if you wanted like a little bit of boost so you can kind of farm mythic plus easier next week you can definitely pick that up um, and then you know use it for your mythic plus the other thing of course this is only comparing it at the same eye level right so like the stuff here realistically it's only going to be applicable for next week and also later on if you somehow find trinkets with similar eye levels the best way of course is always to just actually sim the trinkets against each other see how they work now unfortunately it might not work perfectly because to even get some of these trinkets to work i have to edit the apl in sims which is like the action priority list to actually use the trinkets <laughs> so that's one thing hopefully that gets updated so that way it's easier for everybody to sim trinkets uh, but just know that like if you sim some active trinkets they might not work in sims because there's no command to use the trinket right so just just heads up on that when you're thinking about like simming active trinkets but hopefully this gives you guys a good idea of like what potential mythic plus to be going for obviously you want like 203 eye level at least in all of your gear right so you can do all these mythic pluses and get all the gear great but you really want to be focusing primarily first on getting your weapons ready and then getting your trinkets and then you can worry about the rest of the gear right those are not as important as the four slots for the two weapons and two trinkets so focus on these four items first and i hope you guys have a great raid launch um hopefully there isn't anything too crazy i know that the current maintenance is like planned for eight hours on na we'll see how that works i don't even know if we're gonna raid on the first day but if not we'll raid on the second day for sure and uh, i can get you guys some more like boss videos and kind of what that's like but as always thanks for checking out the video guys feel free to subscribe to see more see ya